Okay, our vocabulary for section 1.6 is parentheses, which look like this, brackets, order of operations. Okay, the order of operations has a set of rules. So the first rule is going to be parentheses, then exponents, multiplication or division, and then addition or subtraction. And it's in that order. So I would put these in your notes someplace because you're going to need these a lot in future chapters also. Operationally, it looks like this. We're looking for brackets, exponents, multiplication or division, you probably will just see it like this, or a dot, either one of those are going to be your multiplication, and then plus or minus, addition, subtraction. So let's take a look and see how that would work here in some of our problems. So in problem number one in our homework, we notice that we have 3 times 9 plus 12. So we go back to our order of operations here, we do not have any parentheses, do not have any exponents. We do have a multiplication, so we need to do that first. And we always read left to right, so we're going to do this part first. So 3 times 9 is going to be 27. We didn't do anything with this, so we just drop it down. Then we go back and we go through our list again. Still no parentheses, exponents. We've taken care of the multiplier division, so now we're just down to addition subtraction. 27 plus 12 gives us a total of 39. Number 9, we have 84 divided by 7 times 4. There's no parentheses, there's no exponents, multiply or division, they're actually worth the same. It's kind of like in chess, knights and bishops are both worth 3 points, these are both the same, so we decide what to do first by who comes first as we're reading left to right. So we have the division first, then multiplication. So we're going to do this part first. Okay, so 84 divided by 7 will give us 12. We didn't do anything with that, so we just drop it down. Since that's the only operation we have to decide, then we just simply go ahead and finish our problem for a total of 48. Problem number 13, we have exponents here, exponents here. But we go back on our list to double check. We see parentheses, none, exponents. So we're going to do those first. So I'm going to rewrite the problem. So we have 2 to the third. So that's going to be 2 times 2 times 2. And this is going to be 3 times 3 times 3. So we're going to take care of those first. So 2 times 2 times 2 gives me 8. I didn't do anything with the minus 5, so I'm going to write that down. I didn't do anything with the operations of addition, so I'm going to write it down. And I'm going to go ahead and deal the 3 times 3 times 3 gives me 27. So we, we didn't have any parentheses, we took care of the exponents, we didn't have any multiply or division in this particular problem. So now we're just down to looking for addition, subtraction, and again we're going left to right. So 8 take away 5, it's 3. You can do it as a step-by-step -step problem. And then 3 plus 27 gives us a total of 30. Number 23, lots of good stuff going on in here. I have 64 divided by 8 times 2 to the third, or 2 cubed, plus 6 times 7. So again, we don't have any parentheses. We do have an exponent, so we're going to take care of that one first. So 2 cubed, or 2 to the third, is 2 times 2 times 2, which gives us 8. So we didn't do anything with these, so I, my advice is just simply to write it down and drop it. So we keep track of everything by just simply moving it down the line here, so we don't lose track of anything. So we just rewrite the problem. And then we go back, okay, we've taken care of the exponent, so we're looking for multiplication division. Well, here's a division. So I need to take care of that first. So 64 divided by 8 is 8. I'm just going to do one step at a time. And I go back to the beginning. 8 times 8 is 64. So now I'm still looking for multiplication division. Here's a multiplication symbol. 
6 times 7 is 42. I didn't do anything with these, so I drop it down. And now I'm just finishing up for 106. Okay, so slow and easy as you're going down the line. If you don't do anything with the operation symbol, just simply drop it straight down in the problem so you don't lose track of anything that you need to do, and you'll be in pretty good shape. Picked a little harder problem just to kind of show you how things are going to work. We do have parentheses, so it means I need to take care of this part of the problem first, but there's a lot going on in this part of the problem. So we have an exponent inside, so let's take care of that first. 2 times 2 times 2 gives me 8. Times 3, take away 20, and I'm still in the parentheses. So 8 times 3 gives me 24. Take away 20. We can go ahead and finish that out. We have 4 of them. Okay, see how we did that? We took care of the exponent, then we went back, we started multiplication division, so we did that one first. Then we just finished up our subtraction. We didn't do anything with the 11 here, so we're going to drop it down. We didn't do anything with divided by 4 or the plus 33. And I keep my operation signs in here so I don't lose track of them. So now remember when we have a number touching a bracket, that's going to mean to multiply or a parenthesis, touching the parenthesis. So 11 times 4 is 44 didn't do anything with these, so I'm going to drop them down. And we also need to move up in here. Okay? And last but not least, I have 44 divided by 4, because again, I'm going back down and checking this every time I do it. 44 divided by 4 is 11. We still have the plus 33 equals a total of 44. So just go slow and easy when you do these. Go back and check each time when you're ready to do a problem, and you'll be in good shape.